go on to a game called Props. They divide into two pairs of two for this. Ryan and Caroline, uh, you've got to come up with many different ways of using this item, um, whoever it is, at the time available. Whereas the other two, you have a, well, a rather simpler thing in a way. Uh, come up with different ways of using that. And I'll buzz between the two pairs just so I get the idea of what you're doing. Or probably just before, normally. And away you go. That's the fattest slug I've ever seen. <laughs> well, it's not much of a yellow brick road, but... <laughs> Congratulations to the mother of a bouncing baby boy. <laughs> Let's get on the seesaw. <laughs> Come on, Daisy, I'm gonna milky. <laughs> We'll get you out of the quicksand! <laughs> yes, my mother <laughs> left me the Pamela Anderson silhouette. Not only is this chicken done, I think it's a communist. <laughs> get on the back, baby, we're going! <laughs> got murder with these piles. <laughs> As you can see, the murderer chopped off the body and just left the head oh, and shoulders. Really? Uh, do you have a table for Satan? Satan? <laughs> You're right, we shouldn't pee in the cold. Welcome back. Welcome back to part two, or, or part one as I'm calling it tonight, just to confuse people who tune in late. As we go on to uh, sound effects, uh, Ryan and Colin. Colin's going to act out an everyday situation. Ryan will provide the sound effects and much fun will be had. Or else it'll be edited out. As we go, it'll be a surgeon doing an operation. That's it, surgeon doing an operation. Away you go. <laughs> <laughs> satire on the modern-day National Health Service. As we move on with the scores standing on this piece of paper, we go on to a game called Press Conference for everybody, but mainly Caroline Quentin, who's going to be playing the part of a famous person taking a press conference. The others will be the journalists at the press conference. I'm now handing a piece of paper. On that piece of paper, describes a strange characteristic of Caroline, which she doesn't know anything about. But she'll work out what it is, uh, based on the questions and answers uh, that uh, she receives and gives in the course of improvisation. OK, where you go. Good luck, Caroline. Thank you. Thank you all for coming here today. I will be doing the photographs um, after. Will you? <laughs> I, yes. I will, uh, I will be doing the photographs. Oh, yeah, you have a question for me, sir? I'd yeah. like to say good morning first. Hello. Hi. Uh, how long did this whole process take? Seven hours. <laughs> seven start hours. The from start, from the moment I started, it was seven hours until, until it stopped. Yes. Uh, Hello. Did it come out all right? It came out quickly. And it came out with a little bit of sticky stuff, but there was nothing. <laughs> I hear there was uh, some uh, unusual uh, tools used 
Yes, yes. It, well, they, well, you say unusual. For yeah. me, they were the only thing to use. It was a thimble, uh -huh. <laughs> um, a step ladder, <laughs> and and um, a thermal vest. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Was it green, as we've always heard? It was very, very green. It was actually the sort of green that that lady's wearing there. It was that, that sort of green. Yeah. Um, but also with a little bit of yellow, which oh. was nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> when you were actually involved in the early stages, yes, did yes. you enjoy them as you normally would enjoy that kind of thing? Do you know, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I, 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 can, I think I can honestly say I've never enjoyed anything as much in my life. <laughs> so. uh, did it come out easy or was it a Klingon? Relatively easy, as I say, because of all the sticky stuff. So, so what's the answer? What are you? What I is it? Got what's happening? <laughs> you, you're practically, you're um, practically there. Yes. Did you do the normal breathing exercises? Oh, I did when I was giving birth to, um, to a Klingon. To an alien. To an alien. To an alien yes. Oh, well, well, uh, I, I, I give you full points there, Carol. Not that you got it, but because you were answering so enthusiastically about something, you had no idea what you were talking about. You could be speaking for hours about it. Excellent.